We left the desert for the big smoke of Mumbai, home of Bollywood, drums, dancing guys with red stuff on their face. Come on, Ander, don't just describe what's on the screen. Just one more. The Double Wallers. Double Wallers are a network of lunch delivery guys that have existed for over 125 years. In Mumbai, 200,000 people use this service every day, and we met one of them. This is Mr. Dalal, whose homemade lunch is picked up from his house and delivered to his workplace by the Double Wallers daily. But today, Mr. Dalal has made an extra lunch, because today is different. It's Hamish and his mythical street smarts with one lunch versus me and the Double Wallers with 200,000. Across a city of 12 million people, who could get Mr. Dalal's lunch to him first? I think this guy will get the <laughs> Really? <laughs> but he's got 200,000 lunches to deliver. I've only got one. I'm here to serve you. Well, look forward to uh, really beating you guys' asses. That's uh, really good. <laughs> Team Double Walla was away, and in five minutes we'd collected one, two, well, heaps of deliveries. More lunches? I thought it'd be like milkmen back home where we stay for a little extra, if you know what I mean. That did not happen. Meanwhile, Ham was consulting his own local guide. iPhone, Google Maps. I've turned data roaming on. It'll cost me about $500. No reception. Damn. Leaving Ham in our wake, we rode to the train station, crated the lunches, and even had time for a chai tea. Oh, check your temperatures. <laughs> <laughs> I knew I'd have to invest in a better mode of transport than nothing. Could I buy your bicycle? But impromptu bikes are not cheap. 500 more? Fuck. Oh, <laughs> any receipt? Just sign it with your name, Captain Stitch Up. <laughs> it's counterfeit because no one would be that dumb to buy a bike for that much. All the guys really loved my new bike. <laughs> All right. <laughs> oh, buyer beware, buyer beware. Mr. Dalal's lunch was joined by hundreds more at the train station. This is really heavy. I have a feeling everybody's about to get mashed potato. <laughs> and we loaded them on Indian style. Nice and tight. Hey, man. Coming in. Thank you. What do you reckon, guys? Too many vehicles on the road? I was a bit lost and I needed a pick me up. How's it going? What do you sell here? What is this? This was something called pan. Kind of like if Red Bull grew on trees, this would be the leaves of those trees. Has it got tobacco in it? I am feeling pretty dizzy. Wow. Feels like you're eating Tinkerbell. Buzz Leaf had me back in the race. Two hours in, and we didn't need performance enhancers. We had a tight operation. I don't know where Orange Shirt Guy came from, but now he's in charge of the lunch. Mr. Dalal's lunch was now among thousands for sorting. The crazy thing is, you can see how meticulous they all are. They have one missed lunch in six million deliveries. One in six million. That's about the chance of Hamish winning this thing. With the deadline approaching, I dumped the bike and went for literally a billion to one How's shot. Do you know a guy called Mr. Dalal? No? His name's Mr. Dalal, he's about this tall, he has a lovely moustache. It had been three hours and Mr. Dalal's lunch had passed through hundreds of hands. I felt we were close to home. We had several lunches to deliver and Mr. Dalal's was the last one. Oh, this is it! Oh, thank Christ. Mr. Dalal! Mr. Dalal! <laughs> Mr. Dalal! Oh, sir! Your lunch, sir. Hamish isn't here yet? No, no, no. She just got here. <laughs> no, Hamish wasn't there. He was 10 kilometres away, breaking the one rule of lunch delivery. You'd think the shame of cheating and failing would make it taste better, but... Oh, it's delicious. 